Hey, thanks for being with us today. The Bible tells us that faith is the foundation of a life pleasing to God. And without faith, life's challenges can quickly get overwhelming. Well, here's a little bit of encouragement about having faith. Jesus tells us that it only takes faith the size of a mustard seed to move a mountain. Well, one of our viewers named Bridget asked us this recently on Facebook. They said, how do I know if I have enough faith for miracles? I know the Bible says it only takes faith the size of a mustard seed to move a mountain, but sometimes I wonder if I even have that much. Is that needed for getting an answer to prayer? And um, I think, I don't know, Andrew, have you struggled with this before? Because sure. I certainly have. Yes. You know, you're like, God, I don't, I don't know how this is possible. Of course. I don't know how to even pray. I mean, I'm just being honest. Sometimes, sometimes it just seems so big. And when we think with our own minds, we're like, wow, I don't know how this could even happen, how this can be healed, how this could be fixed, um, mended. But I think the answer is we just have to put our eyes on Jesus. I'm just reminded of Hebrews 12, 2. It says, look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. So it's not like we have to drum up this yeah. faith, right? Like just, you know, like shouting and, and doing all this other stuff. It's like, just look to Jesus, look to Jesus. He is our faith. When you believe in the finished work of the cross, when you truly like meditate on the fact that not only that not only did Jesus die for our sins, but he died on the cross so that we would be healed. That's what the Bible says. So just fixing our thoughts, our minds and our hearts on that. Um, yeah, God, God acts and moves on that. This is actually great news, isn't it? That faith yeah. the size of a mustard seed can move mountains. I mean, that, that, is, that is such comforting, wonderful news. It's a relief. Okay, God, you can work with something so small. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. So small that can really impact things. And it's like, you know, in, in our weakness, he is strong. You're absolutely mm -hmm. right. If we think it's depending on us, yeah. it's overwhelming. <laughs> yeah, and it's not sure. depending on us. Now, yeah. certainly God yeah. encourages us to partner with him mm -hmm. when we pray. And, you know, you asked me, do I ever go through this? Sure. I mean, it's like the father who brought his son to Jesus. Yeah. And he said, there's a demonic spirit in my son. I brought my son to your disciples. They could not cast it out, mm. which is interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, the father says to Jesus, if you can, would you heal my son? And Jesus says, if I can, yeah. all things are possible for those who believe. Yeah. And the father says, I believe, this is a great yes. scripture to remember. I believe, help my unbelief. I love right? that. Yeah, so I love that. If, yeah. if you're this person obviously yeah. has a faith in Christ, that's why they're asking the mm -hmm. question. So you believe, and if you need God to help you with your unbelief, he will. Absolutely. He's merciful and patient yeah. with us. Be encouraged that even just a little bit of confidence and faith mm -hmm. has a great impact in the kingdom of God in our prayers. Mm -hmm. And I think part of this process as we pray for something is learning more about Christ as yeah. we're seeking his answer. Absolutely. And I also thought of that scripture where it's, um, I think it's the centurion where his servant is sick. Mm -hmm. Yes, not and even he there. Com he's, yeah, yeah, not even there. And Jesus is actually impressed by his yes, faith. Yes, he is. Because he's like, look, I am, I'm a commander. And he's you not just, a disciple. Yeah, he's, he's not, not a even a, a follower The disciples of were the one who couldn't cast out the demon. And here's a centurion. Yeah, and he's like, you know, I'm a commander. And if I just give a word, mm -hmm. my soldiers will, will move on my behalf. And I believe that if you just say the word. And Jesus was yeah, like, yeah. whoa, there's not even faith like this in Israel. Meaning like among his own people. So, you know, just again, when you look to Jesus, when you think of how powerful he is, what he did in the Old Testament, what he's done in the lives of people all around the world since him uh, ascending to the throne and having the Holy Spirit here to help us and intercede for us, it's, you can't help but not have faith and say, okay, God, like even though it looks bleak and even though it looks dark, I believe in you and your power and in your name. And man, things happen. Yeah, and yeah. approaching God in reverence, but also in relationship, you know, it's mm -hmm. sometimes we're too casual when we approach a holy God. Mm. Sometimes we're too rigid and formal. It's that combination of both yeah. and just be real with the Lord. That's been the biggest benefit for me. Yes, absolutely. And in the waiting, sometimes it's hard, right? And Lord, help me with my unbelief. Be yeah. honest with him. Such a good prayer. Yeah. yeah. Lord, I believe, help yeah. me and my That's unbelief. It's in the Bible for a reason. It is. It is. So take hold of that. All right. Well, Bridget, I hope that helped you. And if anyone else would like to ask us a question or give us a topic to talk about on the show, uh, like we just did, make sure you visit our social media pages. Look for posts on the different platforms, such as Facebook and Instagram at 700 Club Interactive. Also, make sure you visit our YouTube page for extended interviews and stories and clips like this. We also 
uh, share questions and um, on the community tab where we also ask what topics you guys would like to talk about. And if you want to hear more about the topic of faith, make sure you check out CBN's podcast, The Lesson, where Gordon and uh, myself talk about different faith topics like this uh, all the time. So we just finished season three. We're on a little bit of a hiatus. We're going to be coming back for season four, the beginning of September. Uh, but if you haven't checked it out yet, uh, you have plenty of content to catch up on uh, that will inspire you and help you to grow in your faith. You can watch it on the CBN YouTube channel or at cbnfamily.com. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.